Angad, how's it going, man? Great talking with you the other day. Much appreciated. And yeah, uh, as you kind of like implied, yeah, you get a little video from me just saying crap about your animation, pretty much. <laughs> no, no, looking kind of like really good. Um, I love, you know, the little ninja thing you've been doing all term, you know, it's fantastic, you know. And you've got kind of like a lot of this actually well sorted out already. The only thing that I think you're missing a little bit from you like your original reference is just that the run at the beginning just had a bit more of a sense of urgency to it. The way that he's running right now, it's that his he's got so much swing in him that it, uh, the, the motion just looks much more casual to an extent. And in regards to your previous shots and also the reference that you've got, which is hilarious, uh, of you running across your living room, essentially, there's a bit more of some urgency to it because I think that, you know, you have your arms more spaced out and you're kind of like going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And, you know, it's kind of, that doesn't really come through, especially in your shot, I think, because it looks like you're going to have to do some weird frame counts for you as well because it's like you're going to have to go with what's in your PR instead of having the frame counter uh, because you've kind of like, he's running up and the running's very, very, very straight. It's literally, if you especially look at frame 179, the angles just kind of like, of the hands, they're just boom, 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 like that, swinging back and forward, you know. And I think that if you actually had the hands out to a side more, you know, and he's kind of like getting ready, you know, and especially getting ready with the balance of everything, you know, a bit more think about like Assassin's Creed when you start running fast, you know, you kind of like lean forward and the hands go out, getting that balance as stable as possible. I think that's something that could add a bit more texture to that run because it's a bit vanilla walking in to an extent. Um, big comment as well that um, is probably going to be hated as well just because um, it's the, uh, you know, we're kind of like in second pass of blocking essentially but the uh, the um, staging is just something that I think you know for your shot it isn't as strong as it could be and especially looking at your animation that you've got a side view and you've got the current view as well for me it's like you know the side view we can read really 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 clearly what's going on um, the problem is with the frame that you've got in your shot is that you really can't tell how far apart those pillars are. So really in your shot you can see that they're not huge distance but there is a reason why uh, why they're there. Currently you're framing as you've got it in your shot right now. What it shows is that it looks like it's a pair of steps and I was literally thinking it was a pair of steps as well last year. So that those columns are literally one next to the other like a very nasty staircase essentially. I didn't notice that they were so far apart until you actually showed me, you know, the side on shot. So I think that if you manage to find a shot that's basically try turning the camera a little bit further to your right, you can do this. The only problem that you've got is that you always have to make sure that your little ninja, he walks into shot from frame left like you have him that's the problem because if you move your camera he's all of a sudden in the middle of your shot move the camera around until you find something I think that the camera as far as you've got it I think basically what you can do is that if you're looking at the scene imagine turning it counterclockwise so we can see more of the steps going up try to get the shot where you can see the steps almost lining up so there's a bit of gap basically one pillar bit of gap another pillar bit of gap hole somewhere like over here or something like that. I'm doing that backwards by the way because my screen's inverted. But you kind of like get the drift. What we really want to see is basically you know a difference between these two things. And I can't do this is really hard. There we go. So you want to make sure that you basically see that. And basically where my eye is over here that's where the hole would be. So you want to basically get a line basically going there. And again keep him walking in from the left of screen that will work great. So yeah, apart from staging, back to animation. Um, yeah, looking at, I'm really going to look at kind of like what you've got so far, the anticipation, great, 
him basically catching his way really cool as well yeah I love how the feet basically roll off like that I think um, maybe you might need a breakdown somewhere between frame because that frame 68 74 you've got about six frames there and you just want a bit more on frame 79 Oh, 69 sorry that's that's what's happening there frame 69 you really just want another pose there just as soon as he leaves essentially so it's like give him some variation there so that the jump is actually quite explosive up essentially so basically vary the pose and frame 49 uh, 69 lift his uh, screen left heel up a bit more and then basically do a pose literally one frame or two frames two frames really after of the foot just lifting off the ground so you can basically see that foot completely stretched in the direction of the leg and it's just very 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 slightly above the ground so that you have a nice roll off the top of the foot to keep it nice and then basically he goes up yeah just looking at the hips now yeah I think Look in your graph view, see what the hips are doing on frame 74, because it just looks like the top of the arc when he jumps. It's too um, flat at the top, if you get what I mean. So it's kind of like he's jumping and he's going, and it's kind of like flat up here, and then it drops like that instead of being nice and smooth like that so I think that have a look because I think that frame 76 is either too close so it's too screen left so you'll have to move it screen right a little bit or that frame 80 yeah when he's just bending down should be further back to the screen left essentially so he hasn't quite cleared that jump as easily have a look. It's almost there. I think, you know, if you push 75 a little bit to screen right, that should just solve it. And then, really nice. Also, one of the things is that um, first jump's a one foot jump, second jump is a one foot jump, the last jump is much higher than all the rest. It literally, from frame. Uh, 97 that's as high as he goes you know so currently with the amount of jump that you've done in comparison to the previous ones that's how high he would jump so he wouldn't actually grab that ring so what I think might add a bit of texture there is that if the jump basically on frame 83 is actually both legs so he actually lands both legs builds up a bit more time here so don't do it as fast do it you know hold the down position for a second and make him do one big bound with both feet to go up and grab that ring swing is beautiful bit more follow through on frame 114 though the legs and especially the arc of the body itself keep it curved okay so basically He's straight, straight, straight. The art on frame 115, 14. Make sure that the body continues to. This is going to be really weird to do. Uh, so basically, make the body is kind of like swinging like that. Keep him curved, essentially. So he's got to be 115. You should see a nice C shape in the actual body itself, lifting up towards screen, and then the feet should flick forward. Okay and then the feet basically the body curves it starts to drop and the feet continue to go like when you're on a swing you know that the feet basically slide until they go up and then they drop down you need a bit of that gesture there so he basically goes up and there you need basically a nice arc there okay that should make your scene look very 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 sweet nice to see how much we can actually see of him when he falls out the hole essentially because he's there 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 he disappears pretty quickly, but it seems like that's okay. Well, cool, man. Great assignment.
sorry to be kind of like picky on the camera to an extent. It's not necessarily the most important part of the animation, but you've resolved so much on the side view that really, you know, I think it's that even if it's going to be a bit of a headache maybe to redo some of the frames at the beginning so he walks in from the right place of camera, I think that that's something that's still going to be much more worthwhile for you, you know, and it's going to look, you know, it's going to look like a better ending, essentially. And also, the other thing that I'd do as well is that even when he jumps out the window, make sure you can see a horizon line or something through the hole. So it's not just something that's empty, we just have a little bit of land here, you know, even if it's a mountain in the distance or anything else like that, just to convey that there's not a bottomless pit at the other side. Okay? Take care, man. Have a great week. And yeah, if you post any more of these, I'll drop you a line. Take care. See ya.